Wow, what a night full of surprises this is. Thanks, Evan. Thanks, uh, Bill, for, for <coughs> your part in it. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for being here and share this evening, which means so much to, to the inductees and our families. I'd like to congratulate my fellow inductees, Alberto Bombasse, Ed Wilburn, and August Fruhoff for the tremendous honor the Automotive Hall of Fame has bestowed upon us. I'm truly humbled to be honored along with you tonight. I thank Keith Crane for nominating me and the Hall of Fame Board of Directors for approving my nomination for this award. As many of you know, I prefer living my life around 200 miles per hour on the ground and even faster in the air. So I don't often take time to slow down and reflect back upon my life and my career. But thanks to this incredible and unexpected honor, I've taken time to reflect. And my reflections have led to two conclusions. My first is that I owe my success to being blessed with an amazing family, friends, teachers, mentors, business partners, and employees. My second conclusion is that many of us in this room are part of the most exciting industry in the world at perhaps the most exciting time in its evolution. I can't go further without taking the opportunity to thank my family for being here to celebrate this occasion. My wife Pauline, our children Patricia. Patricia came all the way from Paris to be with us tonight and my, my and Jack Rouse Jr. and his family. As many of you in the audience know, life and, and spending motorsports is tough, and the automobile business at, at its core can be even tougher. I've been very grateful to my family, to, to have a family that supported me and embraced these dual, demanding dual lifestyles. I've also, I've also been so fortunate to be able to pursue my two greatest passions, technical curiosity or figuring out how things work in racing. It's hard to imagine this is my 31st year in NASCAR. During that time, we've won our share of races and championships, and we've enjoyed a tremendous relationship with the Ford Motor Company. I have two racing milestones I'm most proud of. On the 100th anniversary celebration year of the Ford Motor Company's founding, we won the spring race here in Michigan. And a few years later, we also won the Ford Motor Company's 1,000th race, NASCAR race on the same track. I can't discuss my, our success in motorsports without first giving credit to Mark Martin. His car is on the floor here tonight as a reminder that he put us on the map in NASCAR. I will always be grateful for his determination to succeed and his desire to win. We've enjoyed a lot of success together on the racetrack, success which would not have been possible without many other people bringing their energy and commitments to the teams. The greatest satisfaction I've had in my motorsport career has resulted from the opportunity to mentor so many incredibly talented young drivers and team members and to watch them grow like I had grown to participate in racing's most prestigious, or prestigious arenas. While I was growing up and going to school in southern Ohio, I watched my father struggle to keep several small businesses afloat. I vowed that I would never attempt to run my own business. I studied mathematics and physics in high school and college with the intention of turning my habit of taking apart every appliance and power tool my mother and father owned into an engineering related career. Well, that all kind of worked out, but not without the eventual turn back to, toward business as a means of meeting commitments and holding things together. After spending my early working years with both Ford and Chrysler, I took a leap of faith and decided to turn the little side venture I'd started, tuning weekend racers' cars, into a full-time enterprise. By 1975, I had established the capabilities needed to support my own numerous drag racing programs and much more. Through my interaction with Ford and from the competitive success which had been realized from a decade of drag racing, I had been identified by Ford Management and their purchasing team as a potential vendor who could be grown to fill a new category they'd outlined for an engineering services and a prototype hardware supplier. In short order, we were fortunate to bring General Motors, Chrysler, and others on board for the same services as well. By 1976, we started stretching and morphing our capabilities and, and capacities 
in a 40-year run that has seen our staffing levels grow from less than 20 to more than 5,000. In doing so, our venues have grown from a single facility in southeast Michigan to more than 50 installations on four continents worldwide. It is truly remarkable for me to remember that this all began in one little building on the Van Road in Livonia, with my father coming out of retirement to install the electrical service and utilities on the buildings that followed, and the fathers of other of our young employees pitching in as well. Over the years, our product offerings have diversified from the initial automotive engineering and prototype services to amusement park ride engineering and manufacturing to all kinds of sensitive government and national fence department projects to alternate fossil fuel and electric vehicle development and manufacturing and to the integration of connected vehicle technologies. One of the in most interesting projects we've been engaged in is, is a NASA-funded private industry satellite launch system development and manufacturing program, one which we expect to expand well into the future. Now for the best part, the not-so-secret, secret reason why Roush Enterprises has survived and experienced an unprecedented 40-year expansion in its fiercely competitive space. It's the people of Roush. They're incredibly talented, resourceful, visionary, and loyal people with their te team building mindset, competitive spirit, and tireless work ethic. The relentless drive to solve very complex problems remains at the core of Roush and makes us, makes us excited to come into work every day. In the early days of the company, I did the hiring. One, cr one critical question I always asked job candidates was, if I didn't pay you anything to come in and do this work, would you still show up? The people who said yes have created an incredible, incredibly strong foundation on which to build the company. By the way, I still paid all of them, even the ones who said they'd show up for free. <laughs> About 20 years into our odyssey, I became mindful of an unusual pattern in our management team. No facility or project manager who had been advanced through or promoted from within had on his own accord left the company to form his own competitive enterprise nor had any accepted a position with a company offering competitive goods and services. I believe very strongly in empowering individuals to find their own path to success. Some of the people who were with me in the beginning are still with the company, and some of those are here in the audience tonight. I cannot thank them enough for the tremendous role they played in my life and in the success of our business. On the backs of such giants, I've been carried to the success I am so wrongly credited for on my own. I want to ask all you guys to stand up, all you Roush guys stand up, let's give you a round of applause. The positive energy and momentum for developing a better way, a faster path, more exciting products, and more advanced services has kept building without interruption from year to year and from decade to decade. I've been so fortunate to be on the sidelines as this greater metropolitan Detroit area and this industry, once hailed as the arsenal of democracy, go from the brink of disaster back to the center of the global stage. Thanks to the contributions of so many in this room, the city that put the world on wheels is once again the global center of automotive engineering and manufacturing. As I watch the automotive industry transition into the mobility engine of the future, integrating technologies not even dreamed of when I started my career, I remain convinced that this is the most exciting time in the most exciting industry in the world. I remain very grateful for being allowed to play a small role in this renaissance, and I'm very honored by your recognition. Thank you.